Hey, what's up guys? It is Kobe Cheese, and guess what? You're watching another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I am going to be teaching you guys how to create your own little train station. And what we're going to have here is an automatic cart system that, uh, that just functions on its own. Basically, all you have to do is push a button. It'll call a cart for you. And, um, you know, this system is a little bit flawed. But anyways, it'll call a cart. Right click it and it'll shoot you up, you know, any kind of degrees, you're going to go full speed ahead uh, to any location that you want. Uh, not only that, but I'm also going to show you guys how to create some switching so that you can actually uh, tell your cart system where you want to go. So right here I've got a little two-way station which will either go down underground into my uh, treasure trove area or up into the sky to my sky bridge which leads to some of my adventure areas. So right now I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch down which will send me up. <laughs> I could have flipped it the other way around but I, I don't know, I'm lazy. So I'm going to go step on this switch and that's going to call the card over to me and that will send me up into the sky here. And as you can see I'm going all the way up this slope at full speed and that's usually not possible unless you use the booster system that I'm using right now. But uh, anyways, I just want to show that to you guys so let me just fast forward to a nice open location where I can kind of teach you some of the basics of minecarts and get you rolling with your own train station. Alright guys, what's up? So I'm over here on Gravel Beach, as I call it, and I'm just going to show you, uh, first of all, what you need to know about minecarts is first, well, actually, before I start on that, let me show you some of the supplies that you're going to be needing uh, in order to create like a full strange taste. And let me just pull out my, uh, my workbench here, and we are going to set that sucker down, bloop, and uh, to make a minecart um, track, what you're going to need is some iron already smelted. You're going to configure it in a uh, six, you know, a three on the left, three on the right pattern there with the sticks in the middle. And that will create 16 tracks per click. So that's pretty cool. You can actually make a lot of tracks doing it that way. Uh, you're also going to need some redstone torches, which you can do with uh, sticks and redstone ore. You're going to need, obviously, just a stack of redstone ore. And then probably get you some switches, which you can make with sticks and uh, s cobblestone as well. You can also do buttons or step plates or whatever you want. Uh, you're going to need a, uh, a mine cart. Uh, you're going to need several mine carts. Actually, mine cart you'll make by uh, by arranging in like a bucket looking pattern, uh, except you'll use the the two corners as well, not not just a V-shape, and that will make your mine cart. Okay, so now that you've got the supplies you need, what we're going to want to do here is set up, uh, just a sec, let me show you. So I'm going to go ahead and set down some track and kind of show you something with minecarts, all right. So I'm going to place down a few track pieces here, and basically all you have to do to get a minecart in there is you just take put your minecart and you can right click it. And um, let me just set up some barriers here so it doesn't fly off. Uh, but uh, oh, hang on. So you can actually push a minecart along a track, and it'll go. You know, it'll stop obviously at edges. Uh, in order to take a minecart off, you can you can beat it up, and it'll turn back into a minecart. Um, but uh, anyways. Minecarts, they'll never power themselves. Now, you can make powered minecarts, but those are not that fun. Uh, anyhow, there is a way, however, to make a minecart shoot along a, a long track period without you actually pushing it or doing anything on your own. And the way that you do that is you actually need to create what's called a minecart booster. And the way you'll do that is you need to actually set down a couple of track pieces right next to it. And what I'll do is set down about one, two, three, four pieces next to the track. And on the, the main track that is not the booster, you're going to need to have it come in from an incline. So we're going to go ahead and set down another block right there and right there. And what you want to do is you want to place a track right on top of it there. And that will cause the track to actually uh, go at a little bit of a slope for you. So let's pick up this cart here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put one cart on this track and shove it all the way to the edge. And then and that's going to be your booster track. I'll just put that at the edge there. And then for your other track, you're just going to go ahead and put the cart up there and get on in there. And this will boost you way off. Okay, so 
So there you go. As you saw, what happened was, uh, let me pick that bad boy back up. Okay, it's getting kind of dark here, isn't it? Show is, hopefully I don't get stung by a creeper. All right, so what happens is, uh, as this cart comes down, it'll somehow grab this cart. I don't really know how it works, but it does. It'll grab, hang on, let me get some torches going on here. Okay. Give me light. Give me light. All right. What it'll do is it'll catch that cart, and for some reason, this cart will just boost this one all along. The best way that I've found to make a uh, minecart self, uh, basically a, a, a booster station all the way fully automated without any bugs on it or anything, is to make the, uh, the carts actually loop around on each other. So what you'll do is um, you're actually going to want to have the edge of this guy right here go at an incline as well so let's and then this one's also gonna go up on an incline and then shoot back down on itself what I mean by that oops sometimes it sometimes my cards are a little unruly if you're not careful <laughs> um, my cart tracks are anyways what I'm gonna do is gonna have this thing right here just kind of loop back down on itself there we go what you need to do is have that one just kinda run up so that's gonna hit there and it's gonna slope back down on itself and then we're gonna have this one slope up as well oh, fuck yeah that's annoying damn it <laughs> oh, I'm obviously doing really well here okay so there we go da, da, da. I'll fix that part in a sec so what you wanna have to do get rid of this track here ah, I'm just dropping tracks everywhere La 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 da da da. Okay, so it's gonna come over here. Let's and it's gonna make a loop, like a little, a little round loop. And what you wanna do is just create like a little shape like this, and it's gonna loop back on itself. And in order to make a loop all the way back onto itself right here, you gotta actually put some blocks like this, and then put a block right or a track right there, and that'll curve this piece. And then you can just destroy this block and that block. And then you've got a track that loops back onto itself. So when I put the minecart on there, it'll actually go back on, as you can see. So what you're going to want to do is, actually I didn't make a track that went all the way, because I messed it up. So let me put the track back right there. So there we go. So let's put our minecart right here. And then our second minecart. Let's go ahead and set that one on the booster as well. And, um, oh, first before I do that, I need to make this guy actually have a little wall as well. So we're going to put a deal right there, and right there, and right there. Hello, cow. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to take this one off and put a block there. Okay, so this guy will loop back on itself. What you're going to do is put your minecart on to test it out. So boost. See that? So it comes back and it grabs the cart and pushes it back itself. So, so now you've got a uh, continuous looping uh, minecart booster. Okay, so now that we have our booster set up, the next thing that you're going to want to do is create some way to call this cart to you. Uh, that way you can go ahead and write it off into whatever location that you want. Uh, so let's do this really quick. Um, what you're going to want to do actually is create like some kind of um, pathway that's at least level with that part right there and you can go in a different elevation later but just for now we're gonna want the um, the minecart to be um, you know the the track that uh, connects to it to be level so what we need to do and I think this is correct basically what we need to do is switch the cart track to face towards this one right here. And the way you do that is you need to have some type of redstone torch underneath this track and that will allow it to um, activate. What happens when you put redstone with a track is it will cause it to switch directions. So let's go ahead and dig underneath this guy right here with one of these redstone torches. And You don't have to know how this works, you just have to know that it does work and you have to be able to... Now this cow is going to piss me off if he gets on my 
Okay, no, you know what? You can be on there as far as I care. All right, so Cal's going to ride the train cart booster, and hopefully he has fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this torch right underneath, and as you can see, the cart has now switched onto this new track that I made. See that? So the the uh, the redstone torch gave the edge boost of power, which allowed it to switch. And so what you're going to want to do is create some kind of switch next to um, that goes from that uh, that switch there to like some kind of switch. So I've created some red a redstone wiring, and what's going to happen is I'm gonna and I'm running out of space here, so I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna have to create some more blocks, I guess, to walk on or something like that. That should be good. Okie dokie. All right. So let me put a switch down. So let me grab a lever. I'm going to put the lever right there, and that ought to be able to allow me to switch power. Uh, oops, okay. <laughs> what I have to do is uh, put this down another notch. You actually have to make the redstone wire go into the side of the block for it to work properly. There we go. So now we can switch it. Aha! And the track switches. Look at that. Working track switch station. Cool deal. So let me uh, push this bad boy back on here. And then switch it. <laughs> oh, I just broke the redstone. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Yes, indeed. Ah, oh, go. Whoa, what did I do? Alright, so. Okay. Let me fix this up. I just screwed it up. I actually need to make it switch this piece right there because if you make it switch this piece, it's going to mess up your little corner section. All right, so let me fix that real quick. Okay, I fixed the little cart. Now we just got to move the the redstone torch back to the the next piece, which is right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. And that will switch that. Now we need to make a track that comes to that piece there. Okay, so that ought to work. I just need to put the redstone down. Okay. You know, I actually put the redstone torch on the wrong deal. There it goes. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Let's flip the switch. And as you can see, the track does switch properly. Uh-huh. We can go ahead and test it out. Make sure it's all as it should be. Get on there. Okay. And then, uh, okay, so that one's going. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and put down your track to whatever location that you're going to go. And in this case, um, let me go ahead and just make a little track that goes out a little ways and comes back so you can see okay all right so i have now made a little little minecart track that goes off into the distance just a little ways and uh you know i actually this is kind of a this little switch right here was actually a bad idea uh you shouldn't be for your booster switch thing for your oh shit for your uh minecart call system you should actually be using a uh, a step a step stone or a push button instead of a uh <laughs> that's so funny instead of a uh uh, switch as you can see it's already working but uh, what you want to do is you want to use like a push button so what I've done is I've grabbed some cobblestone and I smelted it back into smooth stone and I'm gonna go over to my workbench and you can actually make a uh, step plate uh, just like that and you can do that with wood too I like to use stone that way like some chicken doesn't come over and step on the plate for you but uh, anyway so what I want to do is just kinda put that back down there I'm gonna place this step stone down and what's going to happen is when I step on it, it should call the cart. Okay, so I kind of ran out of space in this video. Uh, go ahead and click the link. I'm going to put a little link right above there. Just look up there, click that, and you'll go see the rest of the video. It's not very long. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in just a second.